But to get everything started, cocktails. Who doesn't <laughs> want to start with a cocktail? If you're in the kitchen, drink up, enjoy. Right? There's wine in that recipe, there should be some wine in your glass. If you're a drinker and like to have a little clinky clink from time to time, as we do in healthy cooking camp. So, so we're gonna start with our cocktail this evening. Cocktails first. Let's pop that shit. Pop champagne. Like, whoa. I'm scared of this. I've actually, <laughs> I've never opened a bottle of champagne before. Okay, do you want me to do it then? Or do you want How to do you it as a first no? time? No, are you kidding? First should, time on camera. Should I? All right, I'm gonna give you some instructions for okay. how to pop champagne. Does, in case anybody out there doesn't know how to do it. Okay, either. so the thing that you want to do when you pop champagne, of course you want to unscrew this little guy. And you want Does to be any really... champagne now just have a little screw top no. like those wines do? <laughs> Not with champagne, unfortunately. Okay, so the thing that you, you want to do this very. Oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh my! <laughs> and I was even being really careful. That's not supposed to happen, you guys. Yay! <laughs> so normally you're supposed to open your champagne with a quiet sigh. That's the appropriate way. But sometimes you have a giant explosion and you just gotta roll with it. So that's what we're gonna do. We've always preferred <laughs> completely inappropriate. It works way better up in here. I'm sure it does in your house too, we have a feeling. Absolutely. So the party got started, right? Woo woo! Woo woo! Party got started. Okay, so basically what this drink is, is we're gonna mix together some apple cider, some Prosecco, which we prefer to champagne from time to time. It just it's at a different price point usually. It tastes just as great. It totally gets That's the job done. That's code for cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper. We like to keep it cheap. But I actually like it better. Me too. I don't know why. It has a little less edge to it. Maybe I think champagne's more of like a fine wine, an acquired right. taste to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And for second, it seems less pretentious. It's like table wine. It's easier. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, this is the simplest cocktail you're ever gonna make. Basically, we're just gonna mix together a quarter of a cup of cider. You like how we use measuring cups for our cocktails as opposed to like a jigger. Right. I think one uses a jigger typically, but I love that. I know. We use measuring cups. We like to keep it kitcheny. And then we do three quarters of a cup. Oop. Move that out of the way. Three quarters of a cup of Prosecco or champagne, whatever. Champagne will totally work in this recipe too. Look how good that looks. You can always do a little bit more too because you got all these bubbles happening. Top it off. Top it off, top off. ladies and gentlemen. And we are using um, really good quality apple cider that we got from the farmer's market. You can get it at a regular grocery store even, but we like the apple cider taste versus apple juice because it just has a richer, more earthy flavor and actually really tastes like apples as opposed to like the juice of an apple. Exactly. And it's great for an autumnal drink. It just has that nice- Autumnal. Autumnal. It's nice and rich and hearty and flavorful, so it just adds this nice flavor profile that you don't usually get in cocktails, but we really enjoy. I'm still on that word. Autumnal? We'll bring it up again. We call this cocktail our sparkly sagey cider. And the reason that it has the sagey in it is because we use a little bit of sage. My sister's name is also Sage, so it's partially named after her. Which I love. Yeah. Isn't that great? Quinn and Sage, her parents are pretty awesome. They're kind of hippies, <laughs> what's up? So we're just gonna put a couple tears in the leaf to release those good oils in there and let all the flavor seep out. You put those in, and then we're gonna slice up some, some lemon. A little lemon, a little, limon. little finish. And I am not a bartender by any means whatsoever. I, I, anytime I get to party, I'm like, can someone make me a drink because I'll screw it up every time? This I can even make. This we can do. You know why? Because it's measuring cups. <laughs> Shall we? Cheers. Cheers. Sagey cocktail. Mm. Cheers. This is gonna make cooking so much more fun. Not that it isn't already. 